So if you've been following along with the channel for any length of time, you know that I am pursuing self-employment. And the big question with self-employment is how to fund it. And since that's the case, I've been looking into different forms of income streams and trying to decide what I want to focus on. Of course, there's freelancing and consulting, but I kind of knew I was always going to do that to bring in at least part of my income. But beyond that, I've been trying to figure out what kind of businesses I want to invest in or start. And I finally come to a decision and that is website investing. So in this video, I'm going to take you through my reasons for choosing website investing as my main focus aside from freelancing and consulting. And those reasons are number one, circle of competence, number two, learning by doing, and number three, the power of assets. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so reason number one, the circle of competence. This is a quote from Warren Buffett, and it basically just means that he only invests in or buys businesses that he can understand and explain. And I am essentially taking that concept and applying it to myself. Now, the reason this idea is hitting so hard for me right now is that I've tried a bunch of random side hustles and business ideas that don't really have anything to do with my main skill set. So for example, I thought for a little while about doing a tour company in downtown of the city where I live. I thought about doing pop-up coding events for kids and teaching on out school and things that might tangentially have to do with coding or engineering, but aren't mainly focused on that. I've also been kind of enticed by this growing trend of boring businesses and people like Cody Sanchez who talk a lot about this. For example, investing in laundromats or ice vending or regular vending machines. And I even went and looked at maybe buying some vending machines. But the thing is, none of those things are in my circle of competence. And so it's hard to have a high level of confidence that I would be able to operate those businesses or that I'd be able to come in and improve them with my existing skill set. And all this brings us back to website investing. So I build websites for a living. And even though I build mostly web applications and not content backed sites, I think that my skill set is a lot more closely aligned to doing something like website investing than buying vending machines, for example. The kinds of websites I'm looking to buy are mostly content based sites that are monetized through something like AdSense or an ad network and maybe affiliate links. Like I said, WordPress based and CMS based sites aren't necessarily my specialty, but I feel a lot more confident about being able to operate in that kind of a business than in a physical vending machine business, for example. So just to make things a little bit more tangible, I'm looking for these sites on websites like flippa.com and other marketplaces. And I'm looking to buy something that I can buy and pretty much immediately improve in some way. The other great thing about these kinds of sites is that it will force me to learn related skills like SEO, content marketing, how to rank high in search, how to speed websites up and all that kind of thing. And that brings me to my second point, which is learn by doing. So one of the things that I've been really clear about wanting to learn this year is SEO. And that's great because content based sites are usually predicated on some kind of SEO. They get a lot of page views and that's how they monetize. Since that's the case, buying one of these sites for me would be kind of a great sandbox to put these skills to the test. And I'm a big believer in learning by doing. I realized through being a software engineer that studying code in the abstract doesn't really do anything. And even now when I mentor coding bootcamp students, I always tell people building real projects is how you put your skills to the test. That's where the rubber really meets the road. And that's where a lot of the real learning happens. And because SEO is a technical skill, I think the same thing applies here. And so I want to put these skills to the test in the real world as soon as possible. The reason learning by doing is so helpful is that you learn from failure and you also learn by doing the real thing. So I've talked in the past about this blog post, Do the Real Thing by Scott Young. And this is an example of that. So I bought this SEO course earlier in the year and even though it makes me feel like I'm making progress, I haven't really retained anything and I still don't really know anything. And I know that the real way to get these skills is by trying to acquire them by actually doing the thing in the real world. And so I think this is a great opportunity and option for me to do that. In addition to helping me get the skills that I want, 
buying these websites would also help me to get closer to where I want to go. And that brings me to my third point, which is that assets are powerful. So where I eventually want to be is in a place where I'm not trading time for money anymore. And assets are the first step in doing that. I've mentioned before, I've been very heavily influenced by this part of Navalmanac called build or buy equity in a business. And I think this is a very small way of starting to do that. So when you buy cash flowing assets, it diminishes your need to trade your own time for money. And that is basically where I want to be. And so there's a lot of ways of doing this. You can invest in the stock market, you can buy whole businesses, and anything really in between. And so this is just a small version of doing that. And I'm hoping that over time, I can buy and improve these sites in such a way that frees up my time. That's really what I'm after. I also like that this strategy would be buying something that's already working. I think it's really hard to start something from scratch. And so getting something that's working means you pay a premium, but you also get to skip all of that hard part of kind of stumbling around in the dark, stubbing your toe and not really knowing what's going to work. So those are my personal three reasons for deciding to focus on website investing. Overall, I'm really excited about this new direction and I'm going to make more videos in the future about how it's going. So if this sounds interesting to you, then be sure to subscribe. Regardless, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching to the end. Remember, stay hungry, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.